Hi, hi. Uh, we're playing more of No Space Outlaw. Uh, as you can see, I've switched from my, my cans to uh, my earbuds. I found that these are like, they're too noise blocking. <laughs> they're too closed. And uh, I felt like I had to talk really loudly because I couldn't like hear myself. So uh, I didn't enjoy that. And I feel like this matches the, the aesthetic of the game better. <laughs> but I, I hear things through not like the greatest. Oh, actually, these are pretty good. These are Sony earbuds. I actually really like these. Anyways, we're playing some more. Uh, our current mission is to find a uh, de-archiving software. Um, de some sort of compression algorithm uh, called... Uh, what's it called? Samwich? Sandwich, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we got our squid. The squid's doing well. Um, let's see if any of our... Yeah, so our, our overall goal is to find these mp3 files. And uh, the place they're going to be found, it looks like, is this F list, a file list, which is just going to have direct links to all of them. But we need to get an account, and we bought an account, it was very expensive. I'm, I'm very hypno broke right now. Uh, but the account information was encrypted. So now we need the sandwich thing. And so far we haven't had too much luck. We, we searched for it, we found like a tip page talking about it. Uh, so I think it's gonna... Mm, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we looked at this already, I'm pretty sure. Just might want to down yourself a pet, he he he. Normal pet food is great and all, but sandwich. Know that some of you are hoping that Hypno uh, support sandwich encryption. Can't legally really do that. So, in other news, okay, so let's just try opening the file again. Maybe that's the, the ticket. Uh, no, I don't want this to say. I want this. <sighs> okay. So the squid's not doing it. Oh, but you're still so cute. We spent a lot of money on the squid, too. Eat up. Eat the burger. You love eating these burger files and then taking out the file inside of them. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> That's not the response I was looking for. <sighs> okay, so we still need... Do we need to get more pets? Down yourself a pet. Maybe it's just a specific pet. We got the pink squid, of course. But the flying hamster and the squishers cat character. We don't have enough money for that! Ah, uh, and we should have downloaded that other, like, weird virus thing that just gave you unlimited hypno coin. Because the only other thing we can do to get money is to solve cases. So we'd have to go back to some of these previous cases and get bonus ones, I guess. If we can, if we can't afford these pets. Gosh, what is this game making me do? I have to grind out images of an old fish so I can afford more virtual pets so that I can finally download MP3 files. I, I thought this madness would end once I got into all of the good private trackers. This is, this is giving me flashbacks to, to begging for invites and stuff. Okay, virtual pet guide. This guy's software reviews. What's the love squid virtual pet? So we got that one. Let's go see this. Aww. Aw, let it love you. Please let me love you. I'm gonna have to spend money on their food too. Aww. How do we feed them again? There's like a pet software. Yeah, here we go. Aww. Aww. It can hold out for a while longer. It's still happy. Okay. Um. What else? How else are we going to get these virtual pets? Virtual pet tips and tricks. Yeah, I think we were already looking at this. Yeah. We already looked at this. Ooh, that's cute. Um. 
So my my friend was like, "Don't you remember the thing where you can load pages faster by like, I forget the exact wording he uses, swinging your mouse around, swinging your cursor around, I, and like, is this what you mean, Ryan? <laughs> I don't know if you're watching this, <laughs> um, does that make it load faster, or am I misunderstanding?" And he was like, "Yeah, you already knew how to do that when before you took a break from playing this game, you knew about it." And it's like I. I genuinely don't remember that at all. See, this is nice. Before when the music came on, I like couldn't hear myself at all. I couldn't even hear myself think. Whoa. Oh yeah, well, I remember. We went to this guy's page before. He was a democratic socialist. So... Where are we gonna get this... These pets? Hmm... I know where we can get one pet. We can get that dragon from the Adopt a Dragon Lady. That's a virtual pet. <sighs> Yeesh. Hmm. Uh, we, we tried this. This got us the password. Yeah, we did, we did this. Encryption. We already searched for this. Yeah, this is just our search history. Hmm. Oh man. Hmm. 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 The chit chat me for more information. Uh. Yeah. See, this is really just pointing to Roddy's page. Right. Like it's the virtual pets. And Roddy's page. Like, Roddy's page doesn't tell you more than virtual pets. So if I'm a very naive player, this is like my virtual pets clue. I guess I am a very naive player. Where did, where did I come from saying that? <laughs> it's not like I'm exactly speedrunning this thing over here. Uh, oh, lots of Roddy stuff. Let's go back to Roddy's homepage. Something, there must be something here. That either gives us a pet, which secretly contains the encryption, or just the encryption straight up. But I don't I don't see it. We looked at this a few times. No. What what do we do? What do we do? What is that noise? Really, what was that noise? Okay. Um, so there's nothing to click on. I don't think it's going to be some like secret hidden thing to click on. They, they already had kind of that thing in the maze area, but it was like hinted at and it, it feels much more appropriate on like a world map. It wasn't really a maze, but the, the world map area. Which I think we can get to, again, if it's something more there. Because uh, this is where Roddy Law's thing is. No? If we go here. Um, join the Freelands again. And this is Roddy's page here, right? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, this is Roddy Wall's uh, page about the bull ring and Taros and stuff, and then this takes us back here. Yes. So maybe it's something more here. Because, like, I was looking at this, but I was mostly just looking for the answer of that quiz we were doing. <sighs> but is this really going to have encryption software hidden on it? Are we going to get a digital pet of Taros? I can't believe they wrote all of this stuff. This is just so unreal that they wrote all of this stuff. What an amazing fiction project to be like, all right, today I'm going to write 3,000 words on a fictional superhero called Taros, and he's got a floating cape with an eyeball, and uh, he's like a minotaur, and then they just keep going on like this 
until they have like 500 words of 5,000 words of stuff to talk about. I just estimate that this is maybe about 5,000 words. No, nah, maybe it's less. I don't know. I'm actually really bad at estimating it. Because the, the, the pictures take up a lot of words. Oh, that's my... No, I know what that sound is. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. Buddy, oh, no. I'm so sorry. Aw. I just totally ignored that sound. I, I just, I didn't know what it was at all, but I, I forgot that it was you. How, how are you feeling? Oh, it's less than half. Let's see how much it increases it. Did, did it, oh, I have to feed it. Right, right, right. Oh, you, you like the carrot. Okay, now the health. Okay, uh, well, we might as well get one more right now then, and then we don't have to remember later. Chocolate cake! Oh, buddy, you got a good treat. Oh, it's like it's your birthday. Aw. I, I feel like I should give it a different name. It's really my pet. Hmm. Actually, Terramander would be, like, the sickest name for this, but my account is already named Terramander. Uh, I, I'll give it some more thought. I, I just I can't think of anything good right now. Yeah, you just you, not worthy, or none of these names are worthy of you. Okay, so something is it something in the fan art? Hmm. Looked around here quite a bit. So is it something more in the Freelands? Because the Freelands, you know, it, it had the acceleration thing. So if there was some unscrupulous software or whatever. But it really feels like I need to get a virtual pet. Right? Like... What, what am I to do? Okay, so... What if I felt like I've looked for more? The virtual pet or the encryption software just by itself? I feel like at this point it's more about the virtual pet. So let's look for the encryption stuff a little more. That feels like maybe it's still promising. We looked at this one. This is the first thing we looked for. I wonder if we're going to run into more of these. Hmm. So, and then we went to here. Ah. ah, it all just points back to Roddy Wall. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Did we, we didn't look in here before? Why did this come up in our search for... We were searching for Roddy Wall, right? Yeah. So what... What's gonna link... I mean, I do kind of want this wallpaper. Our wallpaper is cool. It's got this kind of like Celtic stuff going on, you know, Stonehenge. But this one has such an enticing title. The Celestial Duality of Music? Like, what? What could that mean? That sounds awesome. There's the only one way I could even begin to possibly understand it, and it's by buying it. Look at this. Ah. Why did this come up when I searched Ruddy Wall? It's got two violation points. I, I suppose that's something I did to him earlier. There's no way this guy has encryption software. I don't even think this guy has a virtual pet. Because, like, you know, what is it to own an animal? Like, what is it to limit the freedom of an animal arbitrarily? Just for your companionship? This is weird. This is very weird. We're gonna look around here a bit, because <laughs> I need a break from looking for this dang encryption software. What unexpected encounters await as you climb? 
Holy! Oh my god! And I know I I'm almost positive that this will have no impact in like the overall story of the game. But I'll never be asked to go here based on a case to to take down copyrighted material. I'm almost positive. They just made this. <laughs> All right, let's take the plunge. I, I I have no other. You know, like weirder things have happened. Maybe this just is what I'm supposed to do. You're walking along a beach on a breezy day when suddenly a long, shimmering staircase unfurls before you. It appears to have no end. Let's climb the stairs. Wow, this is one long set of stairs, you think. You don't feel tired, though. An energy compels you to continue the climb, almost as if it was pulling you up. Up, and up, and up! until eventually you find yourself surrounded by the clouds of Earth's atmosphere. Colon, hyphen, closed, parentheses. Oh, stay. <gasps> Ooh, we're in space now. It's just like getting over it. The excitement of discovering this big, huge staircase has overtaken you and filled you with hope. You're running up, almost sprinting now. You're still not tired. Suddenly, you find yourself in outer space. The stars are beautiful up here. Yes, yes they are. I think this kind of hyper-compressed, like, 12 different colors MS Paint core renderings of real images will never get old to me. The, the splotchiness, that almost impressionistic quality of, like, why were these brush strokes made? The, the flatness and yet... A lot of subtle shading. Oh yeah. Alright, we're continuing. You must be running 10,000 miles per hour now. Planets are flying by as asteroids zing overhead. You see space aliens and wave at them as you soar through multicolored nebulae. <laughs> wowie, wowie, wow. <laughs> the, the tone of this is all over the place. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't read part of it. But I, I'm reading the whole thing, so... I guess this is fine. I don't know. I don't know if this game requires face cam, really. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to block essential screen real estate. Also, this song is a banger. Oh yeah. Oh man, Gus Stair, Gus Parker. This might be one of my favorite sites so far in the Hypnonet. Okay. Man, the t the tone of this narration is like all over the place. Wowie, wowie, wow. You're running so super duper speedily now that time itself begins to warp. Colors melt around you as though made of candle wax. What an adventure. What a beautiful and long, big, big staircase. <laughs> the, the tone here is getting like so weirdly ecstatic. It's, it's, this, this to me, I don't know, it's like cultist literature. I thought it was going to be more of like a religious thing, like an introspective thing. But it's just, it's meant to overwhelm. Like, I feel like I'm being brainwashed or something. Alright, let's climb stair. You feel yourself melt into your surroundings as your climb begins to slow. Now you feel that you're floating. Softly, gently, you pass the spirits of children waiting to be born. You wave. They wave back in coo. The stair continues. It's so long. Where does it end? <gasps> you gonna, you gonna pop out your mom or something, you know? Are you gonna be born, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. I'm just seeing this baby imagery, this fetus imagery and stuff. Uh, this, this is a good shot. I'll tell you, I like anything that's structured around, like, uh, like a we're going out there sort of narrative. Um, and that it's like, for a while things kind of escalate, and then they start just kind of getting like weird, and they like escalate another strange dimensions and I don't know just that that kind of like structure uh, I don't know examples like Made in Abyss, uh, The Odyssey, um, One Piece to a large extent although One Piece isn't just like a straight shot so much well in some ways it is uh, Voyage of the Dawn Treader in the Chronicles of Narnia and now this <laughs> I don't know so that we're, we're going out there all right let's clean the poop up oh my gosh there's four I was getting too into my weird cultist text adventure. I'm sorry, buddy. I've been climbing the stairs of heaven. 
You understand, right? Oh, you're crying because mommy went into the cult. Mommy was a cultist and didn't clean up your poopy. Ooh, we gotta buy food. But I gotta save money to give to the cult. Oh, we can't be spending all our money on food when eternal salvation is just like three more flights of stairs away. Oh, you're surfing! Alright. Onwards. Whoa. What? <laughs> what are these? Stacks of books? You hear the crash of thunder and find yourself in the middle of a heavy storm. Lightning jumps between floating objects in the distance. As the objects draw near, you see that there's stacks of books with wings representing human knowledge and achievement. They, too, are part of the big, big staircase. Whoa, okay. And I didn't even notice this before. This is like a big, big book that's foregrounded here with the lightning and the tree, like that movie company. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, these are really cute, too. So like, okay, so now it's not just you're maybe being born, but this is like an entire human life? Or the lives of all humans? Or an encryption software? Ah, <laughs> uh, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. Oh, we'll just take care of it quick. Buddy, yeah. See? Mommy's not too busy with her call. You can, you can, we can we can still play cleany uppy and pat on heady and even buy foodie. I know that's your favorite. Where, where did it go? Hey, where's my food? Where's my food? Oh, uh, hey, 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 Roddy Wall. Hey, Mer Merchant Brothers. Excuse me. Uh, I believe I bought four hypno coins worth of food. What? Where did it go? Oh my god, all these goddamn sticky nuts. <laughs> this one's blank! <laughs> where where did this, the food go? What? Where's my food? Find food. Uh, I guess I'll just buy some more. Oh, okay. There we go. Isn't that hard? What the hell? Where's my food? Alright. Back to the climb. Yeah, go away. <laughs> that hasn't popped up for a while. You hear a voice call your name. The stair begins to rotate until you are un it's the wrong your unsure of whether there's the right your ascending or descending. There's the books in silhouette. Interesting. This to me doesn't even look like a staircase. I think this is like a pier. Right? Doesn't don't these look like flatboards? I don't know, maybe. Anyways, you feel your feet make contact with the with wet sand as the stair fades from view. You're walking along the coast now, enjoying the sea. Okay. Yeah. Well, why not? You're walking along a beach on a breezy day when suddenly a long, shimmering staircase unfurls before you. It appears to have no end. Ah. Uh... Well, one long so say sing, and and the URLs are just looping. It's not like we're on some sort of super secret second loop, but yeah, hey, yeah, that was great. Um, what else is going on this guy's page? Uh, that's that's not what I want. I don't want to go back all those times. Um, if I do like, yeah, there we go. I knew there was a way to do it. The Bazaar, this just has the wallpaper. Man, that was great though. That was part of the Serenity Tower, right? I guess we should do this one too? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. This one was great. Maybe this wasn't here when I came and did takedowns of this guy before, because I feel like as soon as I would have seen any of that, I would have just done the whole thing. Next somebody's gonna point out like, oh, you did do the whole thing, because apparently I forgot about this other thing. And probably a lot of other things, too. Oh, anyways. So this is kind of a dead end, huh? Or rather, a loop. Uh, I, I really feel like this has no impact on the actual, like, game. It's just a really great experience. The Heavenly Stare. 
I hope this opens. Maybe after another time skip it'll open. Let's check out this one. Uh-huh. Mama Plains. What? Whoa, it's a whole other thing, huh? Alright, um... I feel like we should do a little more work first. Because I'm gonna go broke feeding this dang squid soon. Oh. <gasps> Wait a minute! Is this the food? It adds the other food. I thought that was part of my desktop background. Because it looked like it kind of had the same color scheme. I thought it was like part of this or something. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, whatever. But <laughs> we, we figured it out. Uh, now back to just searching encryption. I feel like maybe in the Freelands... Oh, maybe... Okay, I know what we haven't searched yet. But I'm actually just curious to search in general. And that's Squishers! Or Squisher Z. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's find that pet. Because they wouldn't have tagged it as a virtual pet. Because it's not a virtual pet. It's a virtual Squishers. Yeah, alright. Let's start with Squishers World. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, poor Shoni. Shon. Shantia? Sh Shantia? Shantia. That sounds like a name. It's Shantia Cook. And it's probably like a 10 year old kid. I am a Squishers champion. Champion sounds like a, a subtle burn, you know, like peon. Eh. That could be like a, a rap lyric. Champion, more like a champion. Oh no, that's a terrible rap line. <laughs> I would instantly drop any rapper who said that. What's this? Wow. So this HSM, that was like the MIDI equivalent. Remember who you were reading that tech site? It's telling us the difference between like MP3s and MIDIs. Uh, or the equivalent file types in, in uh, the Hypnoverse. All right, well, this was a dead end. What's this web circle? HS Ronnie's Club. Jeez. The, falling into kids' hypno space. <laughs> it's like watching kids' YouTube, you know? Like, you know that even if you understand it, it's, it's not going to make you feel any better. And any effort that you put into it, you know that afterwards you're going to wish you put into literally anything else. But I do want to see Ashley spinning planets. Wow. Wow. Never mind. <laughs> Probably because you are 13 years old, is my guess. Yeah, this is definitely kids' hypnospace core in the best possible way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Earth is our planet. Yes, thank you. Ooh! This one, it's made out of lines and water splashes. Only fish lives in the water splashes. Oh, I, I can get poopy. <gasps> Two poopies! That's okay. You just keep surfing. Surfing and pooping. It's a good life. Uh, this kind of reminds me of Dr. Steve Rule naming the planets. I'm sure you can find that clip on YouTube. Rebecca the Planet. Wow. I love Rebecca. This game is just so sincere. Like, how is this a joke, right? Like, the only, like, kind of source of humor is to be like, oh, haha, that is how a kid would write. That is the sort of thing a kid would put on their YouTube, or pff, their Hypnospace page. You know? And if that's the only joke, it's just kind of like, ah, we're all human. Ah, this is kind of what humans are like, huh? Then that, that, that to me is very beautiful. That that to me is like something that transcends a, a comedic product. <laughs> Damn. Oh, but red is his favorite color. Even though the planet is kind of making fun of him, trying to call him out via uh, a celestial body naming convention, a common practice among astronomers. Uh, half the asteroids are just like uh, M class B97. Thomas is a jerk. <laughs> Whoa, this planet is pretty like God. That is why I call it Jesus the planet. 
Wow, Jesus the planet. That, this is just fantastic on so many levels. You can put a comma here and an exclamation mark here, and that's like something that people say like almost every day about everything that's in the news. Moon the planet! This is the moon planet. It is different than the normal moon. It has water falls on it. It has water falls on it. See, if you take out the space, and then it's just waterfalls. That's what she's meaning to say. But it's very fun to parse it as just a really weird grammatical mix-up of trying to say it has water falling on it. <laughs> it has water falls on it. And a secret rainforest on the inside of it. Me and my friends were digging here, and that is when we discovered the rainforest with monkeys. Moon to the planet. This is the moon planet too. It is not the normal moon. It is full of water, like a water balloon. Do not poke. Okay, M moving on. See you in the next episode.